good Sunday morning, everybody. Everybody looks good to me. Glad to be in the house of the Lord. So uh, we're going to do it, and uh, anybody wants to come here? 
everybody tonight. Bring your family if you want to. Uh, friends, you don't have to be a member of this church or whatever. Just come on. This is for anybody and everybody. We're going to have a good time of fellowship. And uh, anything else? Am I leaving anything out? That's it. Praise the Lord. Uh, today as we pray, we want to remember uh, Sister Tabitha is not feeling well. Her mother-in-law. Uh, Mary Lois has come home this week. I think what a good thing is for her. I believe I'm sure she's watching the service, so we praise God for that. And uh, God is good. And I'm going to tell you, there is nothing impossible for him. He can do anything, and God is able. He's the God of the impossible. He can do all things. So let me tell you something. If he took the children of Israel across the Red Sea, he's going to take us through this virus. If he brought the three Hebrew children through the fire virus, he's going to take his people through this virus. Hallelujah. All we've got to do is trust him, have faith in him, and believe. Hallelujah. He's going to do it. Can you say amen? Yeah. 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 Go to the Lord in prayer. Now, the first thing we're going to do, we're we're uh, we've got the new sound system hooked up. Does it sound all right? Yes. Yeah. All right. Praise the Lord. This is uh, you know it'll get worked out. Everything will be good. And uh, so this is something that God gave us. Amen. 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 He blessed us with this. And. Uh, you heard me say here a while back, now people say, well, what's so important about a sound system? Well, you know, if we was a dead church and nobody did nothing, nobody amen, nobody clapped, nobody shouted, nobody hollered, nobody danced to run or whatever, I would say we'd be all right with that one. But we're not a quiet church. <laughs> so, you know, you, 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 when you got the word going, it's got to go forward. And so we want the word to be heard. And, uh, it, and it makes no difference if you got a sound system or you don't. On, on the, uh, that doesn't gauge God's power to save. And he can save either way, whether you got it or don't got it. And so this morning, now, I know to a lot of people this sounds strange, but this is just the type of person I am. You do anything for the Lord, you have anything for the Lord, all the way from the piano to whatever, I think it ought to be all ought to be dedicated back to the Lord. Because it's used for his glory and his kingdom. So we're gonna pray first and foremost, we're gonna dedicate this to the Lord, and he's gonna bless it and he's gonna use it. Now he told me not to say anything about it, but I'm going to anyway because people deserve uh, credit. Amen. The Bible says you can give man praise when it's due. And Tony Hicks back there, I tell you, I appreciate he has worked hard. Um, uh, I'm sorry, Tony, but I have a straight down the road. Sometimes he's in the picture of the man with the Holy Spirit. But I can just do that to you now. You can just me. <laughs> <laughs> Tony and Steve and I come up here yesterday and we worked and Sister Jamie made us some ham and biscuits. That was some good motivation. <laughs> so I to take this. Hallelujah. You can see some crumbs on the floor. You can bring it up and you can partake with, with what we had. Uh, <laughs> oh, praise the Lord. Thank God good. I tell you, I just feel the joy of the Lord in my soul. Yeah. So we're going to clean dedicate this to the Lord that be used for his glory, his kingdom. We have something like this. We don't we don't have no plans to play rock and roll music on it or country music. That's not what it's used for. Amen. This is this is the house of God, the house Amen. of worship. And uh, so Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning in Jesus' mighty name. God, we praise you. We thank you for another day that you blessed us with. God, we know today you don't have to bless us with anything. You don't have to give us anything, God. But Lord, you're a rewarder of those that diligently seek you. And God, I thank you today that every good and perfect gift comes from above. And Lord, we praise you today for what you blessed us with, how you have provided for us, how you made it for vision, God. And Lord, we thank you today that you're mighty. You're mighty to save. You're mighty to keep. You're mighty to protect. You're mighty to preserve. And God, we thank you today that you have blessed us 
with this time this morning. That God's your good news can be heard and proclaimed, Lord, in a mighty way. And Lord, we dedicate this sound to you, Lord. That God's your anointing would be upon it. Your covering would be upon it. And Lord, we pray that you anoint it. That God it will go forth. Lord, the sound, Lord, like the Lord the sound. And Lord, you will just move upon it in a mighty way. And as Lord, we preach to it, as we sing to it, as we play the music to it, Lord, I pray God in the roof for the Lord and bless your hearts and lives. And God, we dedicate it to you. It belongs to you. It don't belong to us, God. It belongs to you. And Lord, we pray today as we gather in this house to worship you. I pray that every soul be touched, every heart be blessed by your mighty hand. God, we come today and we're mighty what it's called. For no other reason but to lift your mighty hand.
is ten years old. Hallelujah. It might be an oldie, but it's a good one. Hallelujah. I'm glad for Jesus one day, by his amazing grace, came down to earth and he went to the cross at Calvary and he died and bled for you and me. Hallelujah. That's amazing grace. Glory to God. I tell you what, let's do a little bit of that last verse. And I tell you what, look at somebody, at least smile at them. And tell somebody you love them if you want to shake their hand, hug their neck. Let's have a time of fellowship, hallelujah. Well,
we'll take up on Sunday morning tithes and offerings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Well, while they're coming, I'm going to read this card. This was sent from the spirituals. They were here not too long ago. They blessed us with their singing. They always do a great job. And uh, thank you, Carl. Says thank you for allowing us to be a part of your service. We always enjoy the good spirit and the love you show. We appreciate the love you pray for us as we are praying for you all. Love you all, the spirituals, and we're glad of them today. I, they they want a, a few groups that really sing to the spirit.
the story of that will get told. Hallelujah. Yeah. What did you say? Said you didn't know which one. She knows these numbers. Yeah. She's confident. She's got confidence. That's right. Amen. Amen. Anointing. Amen. Amen. Yeah, okay. Give Casey a big hand. Amen.
Oh, my God. 
that were sometime that you before you were saved. You that were sometime alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works. I like these next two words. Yet now. Say that again. Yet now, yeah, I want the devil to hear that. Come on. Yet now, he has he reconciled. This is how he did it in the body of his flesh through death to present you holy and unblameable and unreprovable in his sight. If you continue in the faith, Grounded and settled, and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel, which you have heard, and which was preached to every creature which is under heaven, whereof I call and made a minister. I'm going to use the subject for a few moments this morning from alienation to reconciliation. I said from alienation to reconciliation. Glory to God. Now, I'm not talking about outer beings and aliens and that. That's what scientists preach. I'm talking about at one time when you were estranged from God. You were separated from God. You were alienated. But something took place when you got saved. When you got born again. When you received that new birth. You were reconciled unto God. You're no more a stranger. You're no longer estranged to God. You belong to the household of faith. You become his son. You become his daughter. You belong to him now. This morning, this morning, let your spirit, your power move in such a mighty way. God, anoint my feeble efforts to preach this word you've given me, and that it may pierce every heart that's in the cross. And let it open our eyes, God, to what your Son has done for us, and Lord, what He can do for those that, Lord, have never been saved. I pray this morning you speak to our hearts. Thank you for the moving of your spirit here today. Thank you for your presence in this place. And we ask it all in Jesus' mighty name. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen and amen. Give me one more big praise. The Lord has said, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord gave me this message on from alienation to reconciliation. I began to look over these scriptures in Colossians chapter 1. I began to think about Paul as he was here and he began to thank God. He was thanking God the Father for his glorious plan of redemption. His glorious plan of salvation. Uh, aren't you glad for that plan? Hallelujah. That plan was made before the foundation of the world. Uh, hallelujah. Now not only could Paul thank God the Father for his glorious plan of redemption and salvation, but he couldn't even go without thinking of Jesus Christ, his Son, who came to this earth as the Redeemer. Can you say amen? Paul would say in Colossians chapter 1 that Jesus came to this earth. He was God manifested in the flesh. That Jesus Christ is the image of the invisible God. That Jesus is the exact reproduction of God the Father, that God is fully revealed in Jesus Christ, His Son. In other words, Jesus is the very stamp of God the Father. He was very much man, but He was very much God. Hallelujah. And when He came to this earth, He wasn't born in any natural way. He wasn't born as an ordinary child is born, but He was born of a virgin named Mary. He was not Conceived by man, but he was conceived by the Holy Ghost. Can you say amen? I, I'm telling you, he was a miracle right off the bat. Can you say amen? It was Jesus Christ that said his name will be Emmanuel. He is God in the flesh. Hallelujah. He came to this earth. God with us. Hallelujah. And he was cold with flesh. God had to come down. Oh. <laughs> well, praise the Lord. Let me get back on 
time. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit. Yeah, that sounds better out there. Glory to God. Jesus Christ came to this earth, born of a virgin named Mary, conceived of the Holy Ghost. He was very much God. Hallelujah. He came to this earth. He left the riches of heaven. Do you realize? He had everything, all the glory of heaven. He had all the riches of heaven. But the Bible says that he came to this earth and he became poor that you and I could be rich. Hallelujah.
This is the preeminence of the glory of Jesus Christ. He was the image of the invisible God. He came to this earth as God. Not only that, he is the head of the body. He is the head of the church. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. He is the source of the church. Hallelujah. And in all things, he has the preeminence. He has first place in all things. If you don't have first place in your life, you better examine yourself. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. If God's not number one in your life, if Jesus isn't all in all in your life, if he's not number one, you better do some, you better do some soul searching. Hallelujah. Too many people are too busy today instead of being at the feet of Jesus. Hallelujah. But I'm telling you, once you get a taste of what comes out of that fountain, you'll never go back to nothing else. Can you say amen? Because uh, Paul said he has the first place in all things. Why? Because it pleased the Father that in Christ should all fullness dwell. You want the fullness of God in your life? Uh, you've got to have the fullness of Christ uh, in your life. Can you say amen? Uh, amen. The fullness uh, of God is not in a church. Uh, the fullness of God is not in a priesthood. Uh, the fullness of God is not in a sacrament. The fullness of God is not in a program. Uh, it's not in a method. But the fullness of God is in Jesus Christ. He is so
you Gentiles in the flesh who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands that at that time you were without Christ you were aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise you had no hope you was without God in the world but now somebody else I said you had no hope but now hallelujah but now the Bible says in Christ Jesus you who sometimes were afar off are made now by the blood of Jesus Christ in other words now hallelujah that gap that barrier that was between a holy God and unholy man has been torn down hallelujah it was torn down at the cross of Calvary now you have access in the God of Father through Jesus Christ hallelujah the veil has been torn down the barrier is torn down it left you Jew or Gentile hallelujah Jesus died and he made a way right of this life. Amen. Yeah. We forget these things. Right. <laughs> we forget that we were purged from our old sins. Right. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And Paul said, well, he is our peace. Yeah. Yeah. Who has made both one and has broken down the middle wall of partition between us. How do you do this? At the cross, Amen. at the cross, Amen. at the cross, while well, for so long, and the burden of my sin was rolled away. Hallelujah! Amen. It was there by faith I received my sight, and now I said, "Now I am happy all the day." Amen. And I want the devil to know. Amen. 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 In whom all the building fitly framed together. 
together grows unto a holy temple in the Lord. In other words, it's under construction. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Amen. One day it'll be finished building. Yes, but construction's underway right now. Yeah. Work in progress. Come on. In whom you also are built together for habitation of God through the Spirit. Yes. God did all this through reconciliation. Before we were saved, we were enemies of God. Right. We lived under the subjection of the flesh and the carnal mind. And Paul said in Romans chapter 8 verse 7 that the carnal mind is enmity against God. And it's not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. For the flesh cannot please him. Right. You cannot please God in the flesh. We were strangers. We were estranged because of our unholiness and our immorality and our filthiness and our defilement because of the sin in the garden. Hallelujah. But Jesus made a way. Amen. He built a bridge and he bridged that gap to God. <laughs> the Bible says unto the pure all things are pure. But unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure. Amen. 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 But even their mind and conscience is defiled. So before you were saved, you were far, 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 far away from God. Yes. Some of you may think you've always been saved. Nope. Nope. Uh, no. No. Hallelujah. Some may think you're saved now. <laughs> come on. Yeah, come on. But let me throw this in there to you. I think so salvation don't get it in the head. And now maybe so. You got to know you've been born again. You got to know you've been saved. You got to know you've been reconciled unto God. You got to know that your sin that has been settled. Hallelujah. That you've been justified by the blood of Jesus Christ. You got to know today that you know. That you know that you know. My daddy would like that if he was here. I got that from him. Hallelujah. You got to know that you know that you know. That you've been saved and born again. You may live this life thinking that you're saved, but it won't get you to the kingdom of heaven. Let me ask you this for do you know that you know you've been saved or are you religious? Are you living in this son? Glory to God. You will fall away from God. There's a gap between us and God. Let me read that book and then I'm going to let you go. Oh, I'll tell you what, I love you folks so much. You just, you know, I hope you get this like I receive it. When you get to understanding who you are in Christ. Yeah, amen. You, you, you know, this is the, what I see in a lot of churches in the last several years. People just want to be mediocre Christians. Yeah, come on. I don't understand that. Preach it. Just regular run at the mill. God wants, I mean, He's designed you to be so much more. Right, man. He said, you know, you can lay hands on the sick. Yeah. And they say, I'm the cover. You can cast out demons in the name of Jesus. Come on. He said, greater works than what He did, you can do. Because yeah. He goes to His Father. Now, some old dead head. Religious person said, well, that, that just don't apply today, and that's Jesus. Well, that's what he said. That's right. Amen. 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 That's what he promised. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So we've got, the, we've got the ability to be equipped with such power like we've never known. Amen. I mean, right now, the church ought to be turning the country right side up. Yeah. Amen. 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 Come on, somebody. Yeah.
God. Amen. Amen. This is the time the church ought to rise up in the power of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. I've never before. Hallelujah. And say, so, yeah, I know things are bad, but we serve a God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. You better look out. 
Thank God we've got a congresswoman from up in Dry Ridge, Kentucky. She is pushing for legislature in the state house for the governor not to mandate this vaccine. Amen. Amen. This is just uh, this is just the forerunner of the Antichrist. Amen. Amen. You better take it seriously. Right. We are in a dress rehearsal for the great tribulation. I've had preachers say, oh no, we've been through this and we'll come out. We've been through this before. You 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 just don't know. Right. We've never seen things like this happen. Nope. We are in the very last days. Amen. 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 I'm going to read a scripture here, but I want to throw this in. I had no intention of saying all that. There was something I was going to say, but apparently it wasn't from the Lord, but I lost it in my train of thought. Maybe it'll come back in the third hour. But <laughs> I'm going to say this as bad as it is. That means. We're very close. Yeah. 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 Well, come on, keep clapping. Yeah. 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 Hey, say it through everything you took on my way to say. Come on, come on. Yeah. Yeah. We're very close. Yeah. We are near in the coming of the Lord for His church.
mentality, you, you need to study the Word of God. Because after the Bema seat, you're going to go and stand before Jesus. And everyone that has received the crowns and rewards are going to place them at the feet of Jesus. Come on. What if you get before him and you have not one thing to show for this life? In other words, you're coming empty-handed. Oh my. Eternity's a long time to be ashamed. Think about that. That's why it's important for the church to be what we ought to be. The people of God. Well, I don't shout, I don't do that. It ain't about shout. It's about what's in your heart. If any man be in Christ, he's a brand new creation. Old things pass away, behold, everything becomes new. That's what I was going to read. And all things are of God, who has reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ, has given us the ministry of reconciliation to it, that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, and has committed unto us the word of reconciliation. In other words, Christ paid the debt. You don't have to die and go to a devil's hell today. God has made a way. Amen. Where do you stand with the Lord? 